As we predicted earlier, this is the season for scandal, and the governor of Tokyo, Yoichi Matsutoi, has not escaped it. Recently, the Communist Party has dug through his expense reports. That's been reported in Bunshun, famous Bunshun, championing the lower people, spreading the news that needs to be spread. I don't know if it needs to be spread, but it's going to be spread by them, and it might, might be news, it might be something else. Well, I mean, a, 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 a good target. I mean, he is the governor of the largest prefecture in Japan. The housing of more than 10% of the entire population of Japan as is most in Tokyo of the proper. Top, yeah, as most of the, the, the top corporations have their headquarters here. It has, of course, the actual national government is in the, in the prefectural. It's, they call themselves the government, actually. The, mm -hmm. the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. They don't even call themselves something that's a geographical area. Uh, this entity, and he's the head of it, uh, is a big deal. And it's going to be hosting the Olympics. Right. So he has been living rather well in your capitals around the world, particularly in Europe, visiting all kinds of countries. And the expense reports coming back from these junkets have been huge. Right. And true, okay, he is representing one of the world's great capitals. He is representing the, the host of the, the next Olympics after uh, Rio de Janeiro, and he has to get around, and he has to get around in style. Right. But the style has been too much, and it's it it has looked excessive. Yeah, I don't know. I think he's probably just an easy target. If Tokyo was an independent nation, where would it rank in the 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 list of of nations in terms of GDP? Well, it would it would be in the, in the top thirty. It would actually be above Indonesia, a a, a country of three hundred thirty million plus, and just below. South Korea, one of the world's great economic powers. So it's it's a nice slice of, of the world economic pie. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, that doesn't necessarily forgive a an elected official. It doesn't give a, a cover for an elected official. An elected official has to answer to an electorate. And and let's face it, Nobody has been in these kinds of hotels that he's been staying in, or most of the, the people who pay the taxes. Sure. In, in the local taxes that pay for his salary. They don't know what he's been spending, and they, and they assume that he's going to show some restraint. Mm -hmm. But that's not the only story, the, these junkets, which were, again, arguably in order to, pre to present Tokyo as a modern, wealthy city that is absolutely ready to host the Olympics, which we've discussed here, may not actually be true. Yeah. Uh, but that's for organizational reasons, not for reasons of wealth. Mm -hmm. The other issue that's come up is his second home. On the weekends, he doesn't like to stay within Tokyo. He likes to go to his second home, which is in the adjoining prefecture of Kanagawa, actually all the way at the far end of it at a, a place called Yugawara, so that he takes a government car and goes there and then stays the weekend there, and then comes back. Now, his argument was, is I take my paperwork with me, and I do it while I'm in the car, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm always in contact. I always have the way to get back to the to Tokyo, should I need to, in terms of some kind of Always emergency. in constant communication. Always I've in got constant, staff with I've, me. Got, I've got a, a, a special setup at my uh, private home there. What's the problem? Yeah. Uh, the problem is... Decorum. Decorum, but also, again, this issue of you have, you are a democratically elected leader, and you have to respond to the sense of, you know, that we're all equals that happens in a, in a democratic state. And he, by having, first of all, a second home somewhere else, already puts himself in a distinctly different sure. economic situation and the fact that he goes there every weekend right. and it's in not in Tokyo itself which is a very large area but, but it has to go across an entire other prefecture to get to this second home when there is relatively close by a Shinkansen sh stop at Odawara and then you can take a local train and the train service is very good. You can even get a private car on some of the lines I don't know. There. I think it's a tempest in a teapot. I mean, look at him. I mean, he is this far away from being actually royalty. I mean, look at his pedigree, his his former wife. I okay, mean, she Okay, was... well, yeah, but but he, he, yes, he's, 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 he's 
uh, uh, not well, former royalties a bit much, but nevertheless, he's. He, I mean, he's in the high, uh, as Pink Floyd used to say, the high fidelity first class traveling right. set. Right. Yes, he doesn't want to travel on the Shinkansen. He shouldn't have to. Yes, but you see, the 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 emperor does, and 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 other high polluting people do, mm -hmm. and when when Abe goes to Okinawa, which is a great distance, he flies commercial. Right. He doesn't take the, the, uh, the SDF plane, the big jumbo jet, to fly to do his government business yes, like the United Abe States president does with, with Air Force One. He do, if Abe doesn't do that, if he flies commercial airlines in order to get and do official business, right. what the heck is Masazoi hey, thinking? Hey, but Abe reports to a cabinet and to a, 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 a parliament. I mean, Mr. Matsuzoi reports to no one. I mean, he is the governor of the prefecture. Yes, and he's and he is the most powerful, yes, directly elected official in Japan. No question about that. That doesn't give him license. No, it's not carte blanche. But I think this this big brouhaha about his expense reports, about him using a state provided car to travel to his beso, you know, every weekend maybe. Um, why not? Why not is because he's an elected official mm -hmm. and. You really have to Decorum. show. Decorum. Yeah, you have to show that you care. Right. And what he, what the misstep that he made, and which is causing him the greatest pain right now, is saying, "It's okay. It's entirely legal. What's the problem? It doesn't matter that it's legal. Right. That's not the issue. It's that it looks bad. Right. Well, if he was even challenged on that, he would never really be arrested or, you know, charged with a crime for inflating his. His expense reports. I mean, it's not that huge. It's not. It's not. It's not, it's not what. But that's skill. Is that's not what politics is about. Mm -hmm. It's about image. It's about showing yourself as diligent. And and let's let's be frank. The traditional ethos that has been transmitted through all this time is that you don't show you got wealth if you're a politician. Mm -hmm. And they may eat in very expensive. Yote restaurants, with, but it's all behind closed screens. You don't see it. Right. They don't flounce about with starlets. They don't right. do any of that. They, if they have money, they keep it really. They keep really quiet about that. Mm -hmm. And you and you see that. I mean, look at Okada Katsuya, the head of of the DP. He is the son of the founder of the Aeon Mall chain. He is rolling in money. Do mm -hmm. you ever see it? Never. Yeah. yeah. The same. Hatoyama it was a, a different story. The heir to the Bridgestone fortune, you know, he, he would throw some money around. Mom gave him some money. Mom, mom would give him a, a little cash on the side. Right. God, he got in trouble for that, didn't yeah. he? But for the most part, if you're a politician, you, you don't do it in an ostentatious way. And that, that has something to do with that, the, the sense going way back when the, when the Meiji Restoration happened that Samurai wanted to maintain themselves, mm -hmm. and they had this ethos of being in touch with the people right. and humble, and also of exalted status. But they were they were very stoic. That whole thing, that ethos, still permeates the upper sure. elites sure. in Japan. And Masazoi is just going right against that. Well, what's your guess? Why did this happen? Why is the timing now that this has kind of exploded into the? The, the public lexicon and it's being reported in, in the, the, the tabloids. I mean, he is a very popular governor. Um, the, and very effective, and too. Very effective, and I mean, he's, you know, he's, he's well-liked. Well, his predecessor, Ishihara, served for 12 years, and if you look at the amount of money that he spent on his international junkets, I mean, you're, you're really surprised. I mean, he's, he's at par with that. What's the, what's going on in the background? I, I'm, I can't speculate because it's only just started. And Is there a term limit for the governor? No, there's no term limit. Ishihara he, he was 12 years. No, that's one of the nice things about being governor. You can be elected as many times as you want. And the, there is a traditional, uh, it's sort of like a, a voodoo kind of you shouldn't do thing, which is never run for your fourth term. Right. Because uh, the fourth term is when you go to jail. Right. Uh, <laughs> that kind of story going on. But ostensibly, there's no legal limit. And yes, he could be elected and reelected, and fine. Nevertheless, there you, you can't do 
it, and he, he's been cr severely criticized by other governors. That's been truly, uh, uh, deeply wounding to him. Mm, uh, mm. For former Governor Masada uh, of Miyagi Prefecture, the governors of Chiba and the governor of Kanagawa, where his best soul is, his, his second home is, have all said, you know, this is not really what you should be doing. Right. And, and, and again, it's, it's, not, it's not illegal, but it's that it doesn't look good and we don't do that kind right. of thing. Here. Well, he has backed off a little bit, hasn't he? He says, I'm not going to use the, the private car anymore. I'll use my own car if I'm going but to But the damage on. is done. The damage is done. And it's, there's more to come out, isn't there? We don't know. And mm -hmm. the, the thing is, the, the, the issue of jealousy and revenge against the governor is, uh, again, they are popularly elected. They, they, unlike the members of the Diet, who are elected from districts, the governors are booked for from a large area, and they are they they serve in their executive positions directly. Whereas members of the Diet, they have to first get into the legislative branch and then move into the executive. Right. It's it's there's a there's always been a I don't know the, a a a, pro, a strange capacity for them to get into trouble. Whereas members of the diet don't. Yeah. There's some kind of envy factor that works in there. Mm -hmm. And he's getting a full blast of that. But lots of governors have gotten that. And, and we have seen that the governor's position, some, again, this, 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 uh, this fear that you're going to end up in prison if you keep getting elected because there's, eventually they're going to get you on something. Mm -hmm. uh, that envy factor is probably playing into it. And we saw how it destroyed his predecessor, oh. Inose. Inose. Very who, short term. In very, very short term, who received an entirely legal loan in order to tide him through. And he, he took it in at a time when he was having some difficulties making decisions because his wife was, was, was terribly ill and was, going, was, was dying at the time. And so his, his ability to judge things was kind of shaky. And he accepted this money, but it was legal. And nevertheless, they didn't, drove, matter. They didn't right. matter. They drove him out of office because of this, this loan. Right. Uh, you know, that position is fraught. Stay tuned. There are likely to be more barbs thrown at the governor. We're going to be following up on this.